Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel and today is going to be another tactics video I know there's so many and today I'm going to be giving you tactics for the 5-2-1-2 two, 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 The 5 two, one, two, Another 5 back formation okay So basically this formation is very different to the 5 two, three. No wingers More of a central play And basically a 5 back so let's jump into it the defensive style just be balanced. I feel like don't want anything crazy. The width. So on the five two four and the five two three, it was normally on forty, but you want this turning up just a little bit back to fifty. The depth then we don't want to. We just want the same twenty fifty four. But a play you want balance to be honest. Chance creation, direct passing, width fifty, players in box, um seven corners. I want going to up to two three k keep it on one. So basically, you want to have your faster centre back on the side of your slower forward back. If that makes any sense. So obviously, Philip Lam is slower than Alfonso Davies, and Walker's faster than Maldini. So we have Maldini, who's a bit slower than, well, quite a lot slower than Walker, on the side where he's a 99 pace player. Walker on the side is like a 90 pace player, and your biggest and best and beastiest centre back in the middle of defence. So let's go. Alright, for some reason there's always reset and I don't know why. Cones for crosses you want. You, now, people say Super Creep is good. You go keep it as much as out of always, so just think of always ordering and trying to go when somebody gets through. It just never works out. Philip Lam or whichever your right back is, um, have him on balance. I feel like the balanced runs, I think on the 5 2 3, obviously, we had the wingers, we didn't need help, you didn't need help with obviously getting up with the attacking. Um, Cup. But now these will give you sometimes options just to run up. Now make sure I have overlap on because balance sometimes will come in through the centre when you've already got five players in the centre anyway. So keep that on overlap. Defenders don't touch them. Um, Davies the same or you overflow at the same, the exact same. So normally I wouldn't recommend this, you know, because you could get caught on the counter. But I think the way what I like about this is we've got Kyle Walker there, which can always push the right back, and Sawa, who is decent at defending like in anyway. Um, so yeah, so basically now the midfielders now, so normally the tactic I would say for the midfielders are one on attacking and one defensive. Uh, so make sure they're both on the cover centre role, I feel like this dunk of a wing, they'll go to wing and you don't really want to be in the wing. Um, stay on edge of box for both of your centre needs, um, basically. Now one of them keep on balance, so for me it's going to be Sawa, keep on balance. And Bruno Fernandes doesn't get forward, that means now we're going to have basically another cam in there. Then the box to box midfielder who is obviously Sawa. Um, so obviously, you know, I feel like normally it's going to be too balanced, but I feel like because it's a five back and at times it could be a six back with Sawa. Okay, we don't need, you know, we need by helping the attack, then we will the defence, obviously, with the amazing five back. So that's what you should have, guys, in this. The cam now is definitely one which people like to have sometimes on come back on defence, stay forward, basic. I think on the um, other, like, formations that the 4 one, two, one, two, definitely basic is probably the best thing to do because you might sometimes, you know, bring your DM into the defence so then you can might need to come back just a little bit and then just help out so this but on this formation you've already got the your, your enemy enemy your opposition has got to get past Sawa, Bruno or whoever you sent to me that and your full defence you don't need that cancer you do not need to end up having like eight players back helping you so that's why you just say stay forward stay on edge of box so you're running down the wing with Alfonso Davies you're crossing him with his perk but then on Vita doesn't win the header I mean never really happens but he doesn't win it Okay, the ball then go out to Zinedine Zidane, and then, you know, on the edge of the ball is Zinedine Zidane, I mean, it's probably in, <laughs> if you're going to be honest. Now, the striker is obviously the most important part of the whole team, and I'll say that they are, and SC24 they are. Both of them on getting behind is sometimes good, sometimes not, but I feel like in this formation, you want one of them getting behind your taller, um, lengthiest player, and that is obviously Henri. Um And now, b both on stay forward, well, make sure you put this on. Um... The tough one is, you know, you could always have false nine on, so there's common times out the midfield. Um, back into an opponent and ask for the ball two feet, and that's the game hand. Just leave him on balance. Leave this one on balance. Leave him on stay central, um, and leave him on stay, stay forward. And yeah, basically, guys, that's the tactics for this formation. If you guys will change anything, to be honest, let me know. Um, I think these are the perfect tactics um, all around. This, you know, this formation is very good and it's very, very promising. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next tactics video, which will be very interesting. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.